Hello and welcome to tutorial number 10. In this tutorial we'll begin the neuroanatomy. We will first begin with the spinal cord. This here is the spinal cord seen from posterior view from the back. The level here indicated by these two uh, shades, this is the form and magnum of the base of the skull. It separates the medulla of the brain stem from the rest of the spinal cord. So you can also call this area this the form and magnum as the medulla spinal junction. So spinal cord runs from the form and magnum all the way down to the sacrum. There are also like the vertebral column four parts to the spinal cord cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacrocarchidial. This portion here is not really it, uh, functional. It's just a little uh, extension of the spinal cord and it's called the phylum terminalis or the terminal phylum. The spinal cord does not run the entire length of the vertebral column. Okay, it only runs from this form and magnum to here, ending in a little cone like structure called the conus medullaris and then terminal phylum continues from there. Okay, the, so the spinal cord really ends here at the L1. Okay, at the first lumbar bone usually L1, L2. Okay, so it goes all the way from the foreign magnum and C1 to L1. This here is a closer view of the spinal cord. So up here would be C1, the foreign magnum. And it goes down and ends here at the level of L1. Ends as a cone-like structure called conus medullaris. And the terminal phylum then continues downward. Conus medullaris, I mean the terminal phylum will go all the way down to the tip of the sacrum. This here, I just made a simplified sketch of the structures that surround the spinal cord. So this here, this is your spinal cord, okay? And then it is surrounded by three layers. We call the first layer that's uh, in contact with the spinal cord. It directly wraps around the spinal cord. This is the pia matter, okay? Pia matter. Now, we will call this spinal pia matter because uh, it's the ones that are these three layers are also present in the brain and we call those cerebral okay so this is spinal pia matter okay there and then the next layer so this one is the spinal pia matter then you have this this black part here this is called the spinal arachnoid ma ma matter spinal pia matter spinal arachnoid matter spinal dura matter between the pia matter and arachnoid matter is subarachnoid space okay it's like a meshwork space uh, meshwork like appearance with space inside and within that space runs a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid which we'll, we'll talk about later this here i again redrew this drawing up here okay so the spinal cord pia matter subarachnoid space dura, ma dura matter and arachnoid membrane arachnoid matter you can see the pia matter which is this area here also gives off like kind of a triangular shaped uh, extensions called the denticulate ligaments okay denticulate ligaments the denticulate ligaments are extensions of the spinal dura matter they're not present in the brain only here in the spinal pia matter extensions of the p spinal pia matter that go and attach to spinal dura matter okay so they have to pierce go through the subarachnoid space pierce the arachnoid matter and then anchor to the spinal dura matter. So the purpose of denticulate ligaments is that they they uh, they connect the spinal cord, they anchor the spinal cord to the spinal dura matter. Okay, and there are not just one or two. There's many. There is uh, many of these denticulate ligaments at like going like this, the entire length of the spinal cord. Okay, and we'll see later that between each adjacent denticulate ligament emerge. The spinal nerves okay like this okay 